So your beer has PFAS, the toxic forever chemical, your contact lenses, the foam on the ocean, even the air. But here's three things that you can like really easily do about it. Instead of just like shutting down and saying, well, everything is PFAS, so I'm not gonna do anything. Like that's not the solution. Like PFAS are linked to a shorter lifespan. So don't shut down. There are things that you can do about it. And a lot of them you might already be doing. Cool, so like number one, eat a healthy, unprocessed plant-based diet. This is the diet that you already know to be healthy. There have now been quite a few studies that show that eating a diet that is rich in plant fiber, right? That comes from lots of fresh fruits and vegetables and like beans and grains, right? That lowers the amount of PFAS in your body. PFAS cause you to have higher cholesterol, okay? This is something they noticed really early on. There have been intervention and now clinical trials. They have actually looked to see, okay, if we lower people's cholesterol, will that also lower PFAS? And yeah, it actually does. So what will lower your cholesterol? Eating a lot of unprocessed fresh fruits and vegetables and not a lot of meat. You don't have to be vegan, okay? Just don't eat a steak or a hamburger every single night. This also means eating actual whole fruits okay so like don't try and cut corners by drinking fresh pressed juices like no that has the stuff you want taken out and like don't also try and cut corners by having a sugary carbonated beverage with dietary fiber added to it like no 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 that what's also cool is that a lot of these fiber rich fresh fruits and vegetables like avocados guacamole equals delicious that also has high levels of folate or folic acid and what's cool is that's also been proven to prevent your body from absorbing pfas to begin with another thing you have to do is just avoid the biggest sources of pfas things that have been proven to increase the amount of pfas in your body seafood is a really big one i'm really sorry to say that but it's not like i can't even sugarcoat it anymore um seafood is a very big source of PFAS, okay? Also, um, filter your tap water and drink that because even bottled water has been found to have PFAS, okay? Lots of processed foods also have been found to have PFAS and that's because they're still using PFAS in some manufacturing facilities, okay? The last thing you should do is eat lots of probiotic rich foods. Those have also been proven to help detox PFAS from your body. So that also means eating yogurt, kimchi, pickles from the cold aisle, and lots of unprocessed soft cheeses. Just do things that you already know to be healthy. If you can eat organic, that would be cool too. Organic farming restricts PFAS from those processes and regular farming does not. If you can't eat organic, not a big deal, but especially when it comes to dairy, if you can go organic, try and do so.